Hello guys, my name is FX and welcome to the long journey home. This is a game where I think, judging by the title, you're trying to find home and it's a long bloody journey. Um, you get lost, I think, from what I gather. Uh, you, you get lost in space and you have to find your own way back to Earth. It's a pointy, clicky adventure thing and it's another space game. So we're on four or so games uh, on the channel that has got to do with space, but I like space, so sue me. Don't sue me. I've only got five quid. You can have five quid, but don't sue me because I need to pay for food. What the bloody bollock in hell am I talking about? I have no idea. It's the monster energy drink that does this, you know. Anyway, spoilers. Um, Yeah, it's, it's a game. I think it's a resource management game thing where, I don't know, basically. I just know you need to find your way back home and it's in space, pretty much. <laughs> so, after that amazing introduction and descriptive uh, words. What? I, <laughs> let's get started. Welcome to Project Daedalus, the maiden flight of humanity's first jump capable ship. Please select four crew. Oh, bollocks. Please select four crew members who will pilot the ship to Alpha Centauri and back. That seems a bit familiar to me. I don't know if I've seen that in another game or if I'm just smart enough that I've heard that once upon a time, but that looks very familiar to me. Uh, their specialized knowledge and skills will be crucial for exploring this new frontier. Oh, bollocking great Googa Mooga. There's five of them. There's not five of them. There's bloody ten. That's quick maths, isn't it? Right. So what I'm going to do, just to save a bit of time, is I'm going to cut this. I'm going to choose my four, and then I'm going to hopefully give you a good summary of why I've chosen those four, and it won't be at random, uh, and then we'll continue. Eh? So... That being said, I'll be back in a second. All right. Don't, I'm not going to lie. There was quite a lot of reading and I've only got a short amount of time to get this done. So I kind of got giddy and skipped it to these four people because, hear me out. We have an engineer uh, who, uh, Alessandra Lacavelli, she's German, don't we know? Uh, she, she's an engineer, so I, I, I figured that could come in handy and she also has a personal equipment for repairing devices. So again, Paolo's going to need all the help when it comes to repairing shit because things are inevitably going to go south for the bloody winter. We've got a test pilot because obviously he's a pilot and that seems pretty good for me. You can read this in your spare time. All you need to do is pause the thingy. And by thingy, I mean the video. And then you can read that in your, in your, in your spare time. Uh, researcher, because... Why not? He looks like a he looks like a good laugh, and I think he was on the he was on the front menu. And we have an astronaut because again we're in space, and I figured what the bloody hell could go wrong. So now I think we need a clip ship. Shit. All right. Okay. Oh, you can color it in. All right, that's awesome. So bollocks. Uh. Okay. I think. Right. Is there only three? I think there's only three. Right. So I think we're gonna go for you. Maybe because again. It's got all maxed out whole strength and fuel tank. And it's got quite a lot of cargo spas. It's not very high on the maneuverability thing, but I mean, bloody hell, it's not very high at all, is it really? Uh, device slots. No, let's go, let's go with you. Let's, let's keep with the instinct and stuff and let's keep you. Uh, we can't. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? It's got to be blue. It's got to be blue and black. Or orange and grey. Nah, blue and black. Blue blue and black. The, the great double B. All that. No, no. All right. I've, oh! Is that the one that I clicked on before? I can't remember. Oh, there's so many bloody colours, isn't there? There's so many colours. There's... That's ugly. There's so many. Right, we're going to go back to. Was that the one? I don't think it was. Was it? It looks all right. I've got that. That's got to be it. We're going, I'm making an executive decision. Do over that one. That's what I'm doing. Right. Oh, God. There's more shit I need to click on. Lander Odyssey. Uh, again, we're just going to go with the one that has the most ticks in the box. And I think it's that one. The Serenity? Why not? Oh, hello. Enter a code to generate the galaxy. Share it with friends and compare the difference to your... Okay, so for those of you that are watching this at home, A, thank you very much, and B, if you've got this game, enter that code and apparently you can compare how amazing you are to how stupid I am or something. I have no idea. Right. Difficulty, story mode, adventure mode, rogue mode. 
No thanks, that's bloody red. Uh, we're gonna go in story mode. Easier exploration. You had me at easy. You, you had me at easy. We're gonna play this. Um, learn the basics, learn how to pilot the ship and lander. Launch from Earth, fuel on Mars, and embark on humanity's first jump to Alpha Centauri. Lost, injured, alone. Three things I don't really particularly care for, to be honest. With a damaged ship and a mysterious device from an alien sphere, the Daedalus 7 crew begins the Ultimate Space Adventure. We're gonna go for that, to be honest. Hint, you can switch between controller and mouse keyboard at any time. Okay, cool, because I've got one connected for FIFA, don't we know? So, yes, uh, we're gonna click on this one, uh, and we're gonna do the story mission. Uh, or missions. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, what am I doing? Three, two, one, zero. Oh, hello. Move the mouse pointer in the ring and thrust. The lander will follow your mouse. Okay, I did that. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, all right. Are we just going up? I take it we're just going up. We're going up. I don't know if it's bloody right. Is this right? There was a line there. Okay, I think we did that. Amazingly enough, I didn't mess up the first mission. Go me. Right. So, oh, look at that. In all, in, look at that in all its splendor. It's Fran Dabby Dozy is what it is. Hello. Right. So, before we go on, I think there's an adventure game and a road game and stuff like that. So, there's different scenarios. I think that you can play over sandbox mode, I think. So... Maybe I might do that on a live stream or another video in the meantime. But for the time being, we're doing story mode, which is what I think they've added to this. Or they've made it slightly easier. I think I saw something on like that on Steam or whatever. So, what do we need to do? We need to visit the Shia Propelli thing. Again, that's German. Uh, mining colony on Mars and uh, to collect the exotic matter for the jump. Fly to Mars, marked on the mini-map, into orbit and land. Right, so W for map. I don't know why it's not M, but never mind. Is it that there? Is that what it is? Or it's, I presume it's that thing that's red. Hold space to activate orbital autopilot. Okay, so that that's just, okay, all right. So we need to thrust. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, so we're, 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 we're on our way to Mars. The only downside is we're probably gonna crash. Never mind, you live and learn, don't you? So we've got a boost. Which is right click, and we've got a, a th oh, coming in for landing. We're coming in for landing. I think that means we're, we're going too fast, right? Okay, all right. All right, okay. So we found Mars. That's the good thing. The bad thing is we're going to crash, probably. Can we do the space bar thing? No, we can't. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. So we've got a, we've got a thrust, and we've got a boost thing. And we, I think we've slowed down enough that we can actually get in orbit now. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Don't mind me. That's the all that's the autopilot kicking in, not the Olo pilot. That's a different thing. Land with Q. Don't mind me and my dumb fat ass. There we go, nicely done. So we're landing on Mars. Oh, we need to collect something to go into. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, all right. Well, oh, oh, I see, I see, I see what you're picking up and putting down here, video game, right? So we need to land where that red cursor thing is. It's an idea. And we've got RT thrust, which I think is. Reverse thrust. Get going. Get going that way. Get go. Get going that way. Get go. Calm your tits. Calm your tits. I hated games like this growing up as a kid. Calm your tits. Get the timing right. Get the balance right. Balance the bum. We're just we're just letting the momentum take out take its course right now. And having said that, oh, he's overshot it. He's overshot it. Soft landing. Soft landing. Soft landing. Soft landing. There we go. Nicely done. I amazingly did that W for this. Right. Here we go. Awesome. Big EM tank. Fuel for jump drive. Collect and refill. Right. Awesome. Here we go. Uh, complete. Right. Uh, transfer complete. Okay. Wait a sec. Yeah. Got another present for you. The boss wants you to test our new prototype shield generator while you're out there. Shouldn't have any trouble fitting it in. And at least it'll protect against energy bursts. Awesome. Okay. Uh, acquired experimental IASA shielding. Bring us back a souvenir. That German person out. Okay. See you in a bit, love. Okay. Preparation for jump. We need to return to orbit, put the antimatter into the star drive, and install the shield. Right. So do we do that after we've gone into orbit, do we? I take it we do. We probably don't. We probably should have done it right there and then, and we're going to die in space, but never mind. Uh, you live and learn, don't you? Really. Except when you die, in which case, that's a bit awkward. Um, notification. Ship has refueled, or was refueled in orbit during lander mission. Right, awesome, right. So, 
Preparations for jump. We need to return to orbit, put the antimatter into the star drive and install the shield. Right. Open the ship menu and go to the laboratory. Select your new shield and choose a crew member to install it. Select the EM tank in the laboratory and choose a crew member to refuel to fuel and jump drive. Right. Okay. So, oh, hello. Here we go. Right. So, you... Minor protection against basic energy bursts, which was the present. So we'll give that to you then, yeah? Because you're the engineer, I guess. That that seems logical to me, right? There. This will work with our shit now. Awesome. Right. So now we need to do that, do we? And again, we're going to give it to her because, again, she's the engineer and that means logical for me. So, right? Maybe? I guess? I don't know. Medical kit. We don't need that right now, thank God. Critter repellent. Protection from small planet-side creatures. Okay, so shit gets a lot more complicated as we go on. That's the wrong button. We need to press E for close. And now what we need to do is hold thrust and boost to activate the jump drive. Right. So we're going to leave. And then thrust and boost. I'm cl oh, hello. That's, that sure as shit looks like a jump drive to me. There's a lot of red stuff going on there in the bottom right-hand corner. But hopefully we don't have to worry about that right now. Okay. So, so far, so good. So far, so good. We're learning the basics and stuff. We've not crashed. That doesn't look good, though. Not gonna lie. Pretty soon the ship shouldn't be doing that, lads. And females. Pretty certain that shouldn't have happened. Oh, great boogoo moogoo. Have you seen how far we I don't even know what a parsec is. I don't I don't even I don't even know what that is, but I imagine it's bloody ages away. Okay, here we go. Far from home. No shit. Alright, minor injury. Bollocks. Okay, someone's got a concussion, but hopefully with a bit of a sleep and a bit of a chill out, you can rest and be fine eventually. Space folder malfunction. Where are we? I have no idea. This is an Alpha Centauri. Okay. Sensors indicate something large in the debris field is trapping us here. Follow the white arrow to find the jamming signal. Right. So, I imagine we can probably crash into these debris particle things. So, it might be an idea. Oh, we need to drive in a video game. That's not good for me. <sighs> and especially not good for me when the, uh, the, the bloody ship Handles like a bloody barn door. But never mind, because, you know, it's got massive shields and shit. So, theoretically, we can crash into shit as much as we like and be all right. Maybe? It's logic. I don't know if that's the correct word that I'd use right now. But, I mean, it's it's something nonetheless. Right. Go in between them. Nicely done. Amazingly enough. Right. So. Hold that to leave. What? What are we leaving? I don't know. We don't we don't need to leave yet, do we? I think we need to go over here. Oh, hello. There's, there's, there's two... There's two beamy things over here. Can we can we get in it? Why is the game telling me to leave right now? Uh, do that and then go up. Find the white arrow to find the jamming signal. I think I might have found it, love. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Right. Barasso, Bar Barasso to Daily 7. I'm entering the alien structure now. Copy. Yes. Uh, copy that. Beginning exploration of the sphere. Everything's built to a much larger, bigger than human scale. Much of it is rusted over. Giant glass capacitors crackle with trapped light in. No sign of life or presence. Suit sensors say air is ozone, nitrogen, and you, a few unidentified, uh, unidentified. I can't even read today. Granted, I can't even read on a good day, but today I'm having a spe specific, particular, uh, shit that's going on. I have no idea. And okay. Found a door. Power seems to be on. It looks like it's expecting some kind of signal. Send that. Why not? There's a computer here. There's a computer terminal here translating everything I say into symbols. Looks like it might be compatible with our technology. Someone come and collect it then try and send a signal to me. Okay. Install it. Have you installed it? Send the code. Alright. The door's curling open like a flower made of aluminium. Not aluminium, that's a different thing. Walking through it, endless tunnels leading in every direction, but soft blue lights are heading to some sort of, some kind of control center. There's a cradle in the middle of the room attached to the ceiling by wires. 
There's something inside it and glowing cylinder. I can't explain it, but it calls to me. Is that what we got? The keystone souvenir thing. Uh, that's what we've acquired. Uh, acknowledged. Should be able to free it with a plasma torch. Got it. Wait. The hum in the air is gone. Uh-oh. The sphere is shutting down around me, returning to the ship while I can. Okay, that's awesome, lad. You do that, mate. Right, so our long journey home begins. The sphere's hold on us is gone. We can leave the space graveyard and the system whenever we like. Right. So, I guess it's probably not the best of ideas right now to explore. He says, as he kind of, you know, drives around in space. Like a lost puppet. And that's my cue to leave. Okay, all right. We need... Uh, okay, all right. Okay. Give it a love nudge. Give it a nudge. A, a nudge tap. Give it a love tap is what you want to do. Right. So, we'll need to find a little bit of space like that. And then, hopefully, we can just do... For your crash. Nicely done. Right. Awesome. So, we found a keynote thing. Or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, so, what do we need to do? Drill for metals on a nearby planet. Okay. All right. So we need to go to uh, the one that's flashing. He says confidently. Mining, repairing, refueling. Our scanners show valuable resources on that nearby planet. We can harvest them and use them to fix damage and refuel both our fuel and EM tanks. Right. Okey cokey, artichoke. Let's just take this slowly. Not boost, not boost, not boost, not boost. Don't crash into the planet. Don't crash into the planet. That was close. <laughs> I know I overshot. Don't know why it's going that way when I wanted to go that way, but never mind. There we go. Bend it around. Bend it around. That's the one. That's the one. Good egg. Good egg. Good egg. Right. So you want to face that way a little bit. Incidentally, this is why I don't play Kerbal Space Program. Because I'm proper crap at everything biology-based. And by that, I mean physics-based. Leave me alone, it was a joke. <laughs> and then Q. My Q, I'm in space. That happened. Shit. It's a good job it's got a bloody big hull, hasn't it, really? And a massive shield. Otherwise, we would have been screwed then. Is this the right planet? It bloody is. Right, okay, cool. So... Uh, space? No? Alright. Uh, go a little bit wider. Stop banging into the planet, man. You need to stop doing that, otherwise we're not going to have much of an episode to put out here to, to, to the kids. Um, do that. And then space. Here we go. There we go. Nice done. You've, you've, you've got to find the sweet spot, don't you know? Right. Drill for metals on the nearby planet. Scoop gas on the nearby planet. Open the resource uh, screen. Use the metal to repair your ship on the resources screen. That's what it said before, never mind. Use the gas to refuel the ship. Right. So, land. And for the love of God, don't bugger this up, man. Because we're almost dead as it is, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's a bloody tutorial. I can't even get past that bit without dying. Here we go. Right. So, what's the... Oh, slow down. Bloody hell, that was quick. Why, why are we not... Calm down, man. I was trying to fight the other way, but never mind. So what's the green thing? Have we got a gravitational pull on this or something? Or what? Because that was really difficult to maneuver then. What's this? Space. Oh, this is the drill thing, is it? Uh, space. Here we go. Keep an eye on the fuel, maybe. Because we need to go back, don't we? I think. Right, all right. Do that. And then we'll go to the other one. Drill for metals on nearby planet. Scoop gas uh, on the nearby planet. So what did we just get then? I don't know. But let's go over to the... The blue. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, that wasn't very smooth. Right, let's just go... Let's just try and find a sweet spot. Let's try and find a sweet spot. And by that, I mean bugger it up, but never mind. So that's the hydrogen, is it? Right, okay. So... Is that what we need? I think it is. Bloody horrible, this. Okay, we did that. We got that. We got enough. I think we got enough. I think. Oh, we can get another one of them, can we? Because it's blue. Ah, I'm going to crash the bloody ship at this rate, man. Come on. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby steps. There we go. Nice to know. Right, okay, cool. So what's the... What's the whitey tighty icon thing? No! 
hell. Oh, this is the, the metal, is it? Oh, this, oh, this is the metal. All right. What are you doing? Why is it, why is it handling like a bag of shite now when before it was perfectly fine? Up, up, up. There we go. Nicely done. All right, come on. Baby steps. Nicely done. Right, so at least we can stop on this one. No free container. Shit. All right, can we get rid of that? We can't. Okay, all right. So, bollocks. We need to go back to the icon, I think. The red icon. Unload all the shit and then go back and get that, maybe. It's an idea. Coming in too hot again. There we go. I did that. Really? There we go. I did that. Uh, visit. Okay, here we go. This ancient forest has been dead for a long time. The wood is so rotten I could push my hand through any of the of any 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 of these trees. It comes back covered with what looks like tar. Not a single bug or leaf or shot to be seen. Shoot to be seen. That's the thing. All right. Uh, why not? Explore. Why the bloody hell not? I've discovered an interesting looking plant. Uh, oh, this is the astronaut. Right. Okay. Cool. Scanner gives it the scientific name Malva Amurimis. Uh, bringing in a sample. Awesome. Take it. Why not? Got it. Heading back to the lander. Awesome. Right. What have we got to do? We need to do something, don't we? Uh, drill for metals on a nearby planet. Right. So, can we... Oh, hello. Check the lander status. Additional modules that improve lander performance can be found during the journey. The lander is crucial to your mission success. Do not jeopardize it on high-risk missions without good reason. Okay. So... Can we transfer all the resources and shit? Use the refinery to convert resources or patch the hull. Rare resources offer greater benefit. The life support systems depend on fuel. Keep an eye on your fuel reserves and convert gases to refill. EM is required for interstellar jumps. Convert minerals to refill. Uh, metals can be used to patch up both ship and launder lander hulls. That's also a word. The refinery is less efficient than finding or trading resources for fuel and repair kits. Right. So, uh, let's do that, shall we? Oh, can we can we drag and drop this? Or what? We can't. Okay. So, Okay, we did that. So what are you? Sulfates. Right, okay. So... Have we added these? We can't add them. Right click. Left click. Do something with it. Select the gas from the cargo containers to refuel the ship. But that's not doing anything. Slink metals from the cargo containers to repair the lander hull, right? Which is what we need to do over to the left. So why can we not transfer those over? No, because that's not doing anything. All right. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just go back to uh, this menu and then go over to the left-hand side. Trying to avoid anything that might hurt us. Slow it down a little bit. There we go. Nicely done. There you go. We'll get there eventually. I'll get used to the basic necessities of how to bloody move the ship in a bit. He says as he crashes, but never mind. It's a good thing we're getting metal then, isn't it? To repair the hull. Bloody hell. Find the sweet spot. Find the sweet spot. There we go. Can I draw now? Here we go. Magnesium. Don't mind me. Keep going. Keep going. Fuel's at 18%. That's not good. Shit. Shouldn't have done that, but never mind. Uh, just short bursts. I know. 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 Short bursts. There we go. We did that. Uh, find the sweet spot. There we go. And visit again. Right. Awesome. So. Stop bleeping at me. It's not good. I can't see anything that looks specifically useful to us heading back to the lander. Awesome. Right. Uh, visit, but then I want to, oh, okay, that's fine, that's awesome, right, I want to go on resources and turn that bastard alarm off, please, why can't we use this, why can't we use that, I got metal, why can't I use it, kid, can't drag and drop, 
That doesn't do anything. Okay, I need to figure this out and I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Right, I think I kind of figured it out. The ship is the main ship, is the mother ship, right? Which is this one here. So we're just on the lander right now, but... So we can't use... I think we're a bit buggered, really, at the end of the day. I think we're just, I think we're just fudged. Um, because we've not got... We've not got any fuel left. Um... So I think we're just gonna have to risk it for a biscuit and try and get out. Because I guess if you just run out of fuel, then you just need to leave the lander there. So that's going to be a bit of a bugger in the near future, isn't it? In terms of management shit. Right. On the resources screen, use the metal to repair your ship. Right. So this is kind of what I was doing before. So... Repair ship. Use the metal to repair your ship. Did it. Awesome. And then what was the other one? Was it fuel or something? Or use the gas to refuel the ship. I think we've done that, have we? Ah, right, you need to be on the actual menu. Right, okay. Awesome. Right. I think we've done that. Have we? Nice. Okay, our long journey home begins. Awesome. So, now where the hell are we going? I have absolutely no bollocking idea. Ah, I'm done. No, no, guys. I am going to leave that one there. So, that was the long journey home. I don't know if this is going to get turned into a series now because I really like it. I'm trying to find one-off games. And by that, I mean games that I just play once and then that's it, done and dusted. Because I'm trying to keep it as entertaining as possible for you. And I'm very aware that when you get down to, like, 17, part 17 of something, it's, you can kind of lose... Lose interest in it a little bit and it can get a little bit tedious if that's all you have on the channel So I'm trying to find out new ways of inventing stuff and like by that I mean like new ways of trying to be entertaining and, and doing one-offs and stuff like that So it keeps everyone interested, but the games I'm finding right now I kind of want to do series on so that's yeah as I've said that's the long journey home Let me know about it in the comment section below if you played it or if you want to see more of this game because as I've said, I'm really enjoying my time with this, but whether or not I do it on a live stream or just play it in my spare time or whatever remains to be seen. But yeah, it's it's really different than anything that I'm playing right now, which is kind of why I want to keep it going. Um, there's a lot of things that I'm probably not smart enough for with this game, but I mean, th that's why you learn, right? You learn. That's what YouTube's all about, isn't it? You learn stuff. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah. That being said, really like the game. Might want to play it again in the near future. Maybe as a mini series or a long series or whatever. But let me know in the comment section what you think about everything. And yeah, that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy.